hashtag as always remains bounds and nation. My name is Philin Jin, and of course, I'm hanging out with Tobai. Of course, yes. Tobai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Quite. Tuko sawa, tuko sawa, tuko sawa. Ye, yeah, show inendelea fit. I hope hapo nyumbwane pia muna jibamba vile inafa. Vinyo inafa. Yeah, maza, because we're here for you. Nothing less, nothing Always. more. Pure niceness. By the way, they're mm. our bosses. I don't know yeah. how to do a job, by the way. Bila nyinyi, sisi, tunenda home. Nothing. Mm. We're nothing. nothing without you guys. We appreciate the love. All of you, each and every one of you that tune into the show. And you take your time to just send some love our way to now appreciate Sana. We don't take that for granted. All right, now before we went on our that musical break, I told you we had another guest in studio and we we're going to be talking to them. Now they are right here in studio. Now our next uh, guest... He's a uh, rapper, he's a singer, he's a poet, he's multi-talented. And of course, he goes by the name Dop. I mean. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. DJ Ulisa, how much? I feel like we have to do that again. <laughs> bye, bye. And of course, Yo, he goes by goja, the name. Goja, 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 mm -hmm. goja, goja, goja. Okay. Apo, apo kwa, kwa jina yake, Dop, I mean. Mm -hmm. You can't, ayezi, akuna kitu ngini neza ongeza yyo. He's Dop. He's dope. He's I mean. Eh, hey, bana. I mean. Yo, yo, tiki ongeza like, takuwa tunaribu. Yeah. He's yeah. dope. Hey, yeah, man. Like, 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 yeah, man. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You, you guys are good. I'm seeing you looking good. I'm happy to be here. Us? Yes. Have you seen yourself? Look at him telling us we look good. Like, I, 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 I mean, like, drip. No. Like, drip. I don't know if the camera can get that. Like, drip for days. Drip for days. Drip mm. for days. I think we're going to get a close-up at some point. Mm. But welcome to the show. Thank you so much. How are you much. doing? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. And it's so good to have you on the show. This is the first time uh, we're hosting you on the show. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes, yeah, must yeah. be. Yes. So it's yeah. great to have you. We always love, like, you know, first timers because it's always great. So that when you come next time, I will have more chemistry. So to kikuja to up. All right, now, yeah, tell us about your name. Like, is it because you're just dope, Vile to Mesema? Or there's another meaning behind that? Well, me ni mse, nilikuwa nimezewa kusema dope. Everything is dope. Mse na zama kutu. So, alafu pia, like, niki so much you, nika jua a chemical in your brain called dopamine makes you feel good. So, nika sema, how do I make it hip-hop like your genus? Mm. 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 Dope, I mean. Yeah. See? Yeah. I don't know who said it, but when, when you want things to go your way, you must be confident from yourself and from your name. Yes. Yeah. That's why Diamond Platinum is a Diamond Platinum. Yes. He's a Diamond. Yeah. Uh, Najua. Diamond. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 So when you meet up with dope, I mean, ah, yo. I'm going to get a little bit of a reduce. Like, imagine yeah. you, when you be, they are welcoming you to the stage, like that. Like, and our next performer, our next yeah. act, give it up for. He's dope. dope. I mean. Show us a set. Oh, I'm going to get a little bit of a <laughs> so, watu watabaki zile za eh. Yeah. Sasa so, watu wata pay attention zaidi. Mm. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you talked about you being multi-talented. You are a poet, you are a rapper, you are a singer. I'm an MC. You are an MC. Yeah, I used to be a DJ. Ah. Yeah, I used to be a DJ. Okay, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, right, but, but let's talk about poetry. Because I saw you did your first piece at a very young age. Yeah, like, actually, used to do before that. I think I think 2014 or 13 mm -hmm. or something like that. But like Nime Fanya all my life, mm -hmm. I just found it as a way to express myself. Nili kwa to a very I used to keep to myself. Nini mm -hmm. so nika fine. That's how I used to communicate to, to people. Ile time na toki ambele awa to lazima nika mna poetry. Yani skom sa kubonga sa ano na get. Kaza poetry like na na sasa shule watu alikuwa na kulipa wengine madam. Ah nili kwa tu na eh ba se kwanza maleta eh. Na piga kula ba apo na msawa kalig tu nandi kake ni. Ma big up. When I look into your eyes, I see the sun. I love apo when unua kolone silium it big up kwa envelope mad. Zile body zile body good old days. Good old days. will never understand. Like they, they, they can never. Know, like. Like that used to be. You know, they used to be like very intimate. Like we don't have to three months to just really like you, like you, like you, you, you. I love kwanza vile mails ilikuwa zinaletwa mbele kila mse unasomewa jina hapo hasa unajua kuna mtu konja na kupenda man eh you feel like you're on top of the world mm. all right so uh, the transition from you know writing poetry to singing to shrap take us through the whole transition how did that happen 
Well, I started singing at a really young age. Nilianza mm. kutrain uh, was a lot of people who are singing professionally, especially a cappella. Mm. So I used to get shows and afanya. I used to perform with them at Bezka Safari Park. Nini, nini, yeah. nini. By the time I used to live in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. So nika hamia huku. Alafu nikanza tu. Nikiwa high school tu. Nikanza tu kuandika mistari. From that poetry came the rhymes. Alafu nikanza tu practice kuimba chua. And nika pata. And it's actually something someone can learn how to do. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, Joining a D family, um, how did that happen? And uh, Butros, of course, is also part of that. Yeah. So were you guys boys before Amar? Most definitely. You know, uh, like, first of all, uh, nilikuwa our manager, Musao, I nilikuwa mean, Nairaima. Raima. Yeah. And then he grew up with Kina Butros, like, where they, where they live. Mm-hmm. So, like, your link up to ilikuwa, like, magical too. So I linked up with them around 2014 to Kachil Chil Kidogo. Then by 2016, we made it official, joining, nice. yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then, and from 2016, you had different projects. You had yes. Guap, you had like Drop. Mm. Tell us, maybe just before we talk about your your other EP, mm-hmm. tell us because you released an EP with uh, AD as well. Yeah. So how many tracks? Who did you feature? The inspiration. Tell us everything before that. Be- as a group, before you talk mm. uh, about you as an individual. Well, with the group, we worked with a lot of people. Mm. At that time, I think Tulkwa focused on finding a Kenyan sound. Now, so we came up with Shrap together with Jovi Jov and other people like Malcolm, Asam Gavi. We came up with the Shrap type of thing. So we we're trying to really find the sound at that time. So we we're working more with producers, Kina So Fresh, Kina ABH Sounds, working with so many people, Kina Dili, just mm-hmm. trying to find that sort of sound, you know. And um, later on, we also started working with other artists like Raj. Uh, Quiz who came into the picture Quiz. and uh, hey. yeah, Quiz name dope sana. Sana, uh, sana. Na mwambi ache ache mchezo. Uh-huh. Ato mziki masi. Uh, anatoa, anatoa. <laughs> Kutili, anatoa. Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh-huh. we were working like minded people and uh, we did a lot of collaborations in between ourselves here. Mm-hmm. Ndiyo sasa tuka muacha, let's venture into solo careers, we see what that has to offer. Yeah. Right. Yes. And you being a poet, does it translate to writing music? Ama ikikuja kwa ngoma, creativity is different. Oh yes, I'm a professional songwriter actually. Oh. So, uh, uh, Have you, do you actually write for some people uh, upper Kenya? Yes. That's why I say, when I come out, I always make when I can go straight to Mahali. I think I could do something. You know, me, I'm dope. I'm dope. But ni amaji. Dope, na na panya kazi. Kuna watu nandikia, but it's not say not take anything away from them. They're also very talented. Yeah. I think uh, just when people need to express things more to do with emotion mm. and pain, apo that's why I come in. Oh. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. So when that heartbreak comes through mm. you know the plug mm. when you feel like bro like me mean i'm at that point <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> a, you know you know you know you know i love you instead of a motivational speaker pale star ama pale i do like uh whatsapp kitu sumbua dope i mean is the plug like yes. my baby bro like i'm feeling like this like this he's gonna put it into words mm. I love food to put in goma, Giacco. Yes. <laughs> anyway, like, so that was Shrap Life, right? The yeah. the EP we talked about. Yes. And then right after that, you re- released your own EP. Uh, yeah, I did one called Meantime. Mm-hmm. No, wait. Uh, Meantime was before Shrap Life. And then after Shrap Life, I did a few singles. I love when you could drop uh, Shambhala. Sh- yeah, Shambhala. So Shambhala came back, was it 2020? 2021? 2019. 2019. 2017, yeah. Alafu Shambhala was 2018. Yeah. Yeah. So was that your first EP? Yeah, that was my first EP, first official EP. Mm-hmm. And uh your time nil kwana try to find sound. I think I'd taken my first steps towards trying to find my sound. So you look a very transitional period for me. Yeah, now your transition period may last, may last, may go and do my singles, I decide, but <laughs> sasa now, I'm going to do my singles, I'm going to do my We've seen that, we've mm. been seeing that. Mm. And you have other projects, you even worked with uh, Butchers as well. Like, you've been, like, how is it, I want to understand, I'm going to go, come to Butchers, by the way, when he was here, mm. I wanted to ask him this, like, Butchers is very, um, hmm. And it's like trauma, but the way he expresses himself, mm. <laughs> not so many people can get away with that. Mm. Like, it's not yeah, going to work. Mm. It's mm. biased. Mm. Like, he gets with a way with, he will say something, you're like, wow. But mm. you'll sing it out loud. Mm. Yeah. So, I, t- I think it's because people relate, Pia. Mm-hmm. If you relate to something, you can't take that that yeah. meaning of what it represents yeah, to you. Exactly. But it represents the Kenyan lifestyle, and that's sharp. Yeah, that's 
that's true. Yeah. So where you kufanya kazi na yeye because I know where uko na filter kidogo kumiliko. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. how is it like working with him was it fun? Alikuwa anaandika unamwambia eh bro I think this is a bit too much. I'm like tell us about the whole experience. Well sick to your past tense because we still work together to date. Oh. Mm-hmm. For us uh friendship is first before anything else like it came first before to lianza mm. kuwasani but like yeah he we've done a lot of experimental stuff na he's helped me find my sound nini and also production wise ana konga mgori sana like i have an ep dropping around 6 mm-hmm. uh, yeah early may i'm having an ep dropping mm-hmm. and it's produced like 70% of it so that's something to look forward to as well you guys will get to know which was more as a producer also Oh, yeah. we're looking forward to that. And of mm. course, like when that comes, we're definitely going to play it and we're going to have you guys talk about that on the show. Yes. Most definitely. Now, let's talk about your latest single, mm-hmm. Kwani Hupendi Mapenzi. Like, really? <laughs> 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 Honestly, that's the title of the song. It's called Kwani Hupendi Mapenzi. Come on, Jay Skia. We're going to play it right here. But before you play it, if you're watching <laughs> it and you're curious, just can be on YouTube. Dopo I mean, Kwani Hupendi Mapenzi. And mm. we love the video as well. The visuals were like really good and the song also slaps. Mm. So tell us about that. Like uh was that like was that about someone? Mm. Like, like, I know. Like, I know. 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 Uh, we si, have a lady si, in the building. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody, uh, right? Si, uh, she agrees. Si, si 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 yeah. 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 So tell us about the song. Yeah, well, it was. Uh, it came from a personal place, not just my experience, but mm-hmm. also the, I usually collect the experiences of the people around me, mm-hmm. and that's what helps me make music. Because if it's happening to me, it's happening to someone else. It means mm-hmm. a lot of people can relate to it as well. So ni leona true like vile wao soko ngana madem na dem yako kuna sponyo dem ana new jui lakini una jua lakini ume chill too mm-hmm. you know pia hata kuja kushawa na gifts like you're just seeing it happen but you're like in your head unauliza oh dem like kwani umependa do kuliko mapenzi so wewe udai kupendwa tu wewe tu ni pesa tu unataka so that's where the question came from kwani upendi mapenzi Okay. Yes. That sounds like very genuine and it comes from a very <laughs> genuine part. And I love the fact that many people can relate to it. Mm. That's like really good. And that's what being an artist is all about. Do you, like I remember like growing up being in school you told me sanini kio cha jamii. Because yes. not everybody has that chance. Mm. So like, at least kwa sanini wote. Obviously there's got to be someone to speak for us. Yes. So I love when people talk about other people's experiences and what's actually happening in the society. So mm. thank you for sharing that with us and because we don't have a lot of time na tunataka to perform here. Mm. I think we're gonna uh, uh, wind up but before we do that like just um you tell us maybe any upcoming projects anything you want to tell the guys any shout outs you want to send your social media everything uh instagram killer mali you can find at dope.i.mean on twitter ni i am dope i mean oh yeah instagram dope.i.mean on twitter out and pat at i am dope i mean youtube dope i mean Uh, shout out to the, my whole team, AD family, the whole Shrap Life movement. Shout out to 22 Bed Bazo Entertainment, Willis Raburu for putting together this project. Oh, nice. Uh, look out for my EP, The Messiah, coming out very soon. I'll announce the dates. My album will also be out very soon. And I have another video coming in two weeks. So look out for that. All right. Yes. Two weeks. Mm. Like, I, I love people who are always like that. Like, artists come here, okay, always Oh, so the next project is my... Tambi atuto. I like working with a timeline. So yeah. I love that. That way we can hold you accountable. When he doesn't mm. drop we're like, yo bro, mm. dope. Mm. What happened? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm. And uh, maybe you can shout her out as well, you know, for just being here. Shout out to my ANR Saisa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, realest ever. <laughs> Sharp queen herself. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So you're performing for us Kwanupei Kwani Kwani Mapenzi, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, so he's going to play it and then you, you, uh, you perform that for us. But we're still here. The show is still on. Hashtag Bounce Nation. Hashtag Bounce Nation is where you find us. Keep talking to us. We're going to sample some of your comments and tweets. Ile Paulina Ran, Pali Twitter, Tutambia Nani, Amishinda. At the end of the show, we still have a little bit of time. So keep it here. Keep it Bounce Nation. Bounce Nation.